that the realtor told you all about the Dagmars, huh? Yes, that was the family who first lived here, right? We had heard it was a funeral parlor around the turn of the century. Oh. Hello, I'm Atlanta Johnson, and you're watching Fan Carpet. We're here for day number two for Film 4 Fright Fest. My name is Ted Gagan, and I'm the writer and director of We Are Still Here, which is having its UK premiere in just a few hours. How do you feel about having this film at this Fright Fest festival? Um, it's pretty amazing. I have heard from so many people over the years that this is the place to show a horror film in the UK. So um, I'm pretty excited to be here. I've had a lot of friends who've debuted movies here in the past. Um, so I feel like I'm in extreme good company. Any other sort of genres that you wish that you'd like to explore that maybe haven't already? Um, I've been writing and producing for 15 years and it's been pretty much exclusively in horror. I kind of dabble in like sci-fi and fantasy but I like I like to kind of keep it in genre filmmaking, things that aren't real. Um, I have the most fun with that. So I, I don't know, like I, I could see myself doing something that wasn't horror, but like that's kind of where my love is. Like, oh. <laughs> yeah, I can see myself doing something else, but... Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Yeah, the, the next few will definitely be horror movies. So what was the inspiration behind the film? Um, the movie is based kind of on the films that I grew up watching and loving in my youth. Um, very heavily influenced by I, um, like the works of Lucio Fulci, who is a famous Italian Euro horror director of the 70s. Um, and just kind of the weird made-for-TV horror films that I watched growing up, like Dark Knight of the Scarecrow and Don't Be Afraid of the Dark. These kind of weird, like, overly melodramatic sort of films that they don't quite feel real. Um, there's kind of like this strange surreal quality to them that I don't think is really in a lot of films anymore. And then also kind of just embracing films that have mature casts. You know, I grew up with films of like the 70s and 80s, and a lot of the casts are like middle-aged people and so the idea of shooting a movie where the youngest person in it is 54 was really appealing you know I wanted to do something that wasn't about like stupid dumb kids who run off into the woods you know it's about <laughs> it's about adults making adult decisions but there just happen to be ghosts and monsters so. yeah. what is next for you good question um, I'm currently writing a script um, for something that I'm not going to direct and then I have a uh, I have a dream project that I hope to uh, do next it's a survival horror movie um, I unfortunately can't say too much more, but it's just as weird as we are still here, and I think it's just a genre-defying, but um, it does some very different cool things, so fingers crossed that will happen sooner than later. You've been watching Fan Carpet. Please be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and we'll see you soon. You stay, you satisfy the darkness. You guys have moved in to one weird fucking town.